Hello gentlemen, me again, got another update for you, this time, they have got another first update for you, this time it's on my Airfix 135th scale, uh, Airfix 132 scale, uh, British Crusader Mark III. Before I do the update, the usual business of shout outs to Model Price 72 Lenny, Basic Modeling Rob, Aaron Newlands, Alex Modeling, Aaron Newlands, Alex Modeling, Cleedo One Lewis, Shane Highland, um, Cleedo One Lewis, Shane Highland, Making Models Again, Gary, uh, Nigel Wells, Cohen C, Armour Empire, Mark, Armour Empire, Mark O'Neill, um, uh, Waterloo 745, John, Warren Blanche, Lon 757 Pete, That's Guy in Spartech, That's Guy in Spartech, RASDV, Master Chu HQ, uh, Master Roll HQ, Rambler 69 Tom, um, Mr. Z Kits, AZ Kits, Mr. Z Kits, A to Z Kits, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Modeler, The Child Modeler, UK scale modeler Ian uh, Mr. Great Models you, Charles Scale Mo Charles Scale Modeling Train Point 220 Golden Eagle Stephen en St Engineering Darkside Ms. Vivi Dan Ely Modeling Josh Mallard Stephen Steve Mottram and Jag Panzer forty and Jag Panzer nineteen forty four. Yeah, I think that's all my Facebook shout that's what I usually give to, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yes it is. Facebook shows Dan, Max, Marion, Ellie, Amelia, Kelsey, Kira, Chloe, Mum, Haley, Billy, Jude, Greg, Lynn, Lenny, Ashley, Ashley, Alex, Alex, Andrew, Gavin, George, Tom, John, John, Joe, Luke, Lisa, Lucy, Debbie, Diggs, Nan, Miss you, Nico, Charlotte. Charlotte, sorry I miss you this week. Um, sorry I miss you this week. Uh, uh, and I'll speak to you next week. And yeah, sorry I miss you this week, Charlotte. I'll speak to you next week. Anyway, enough of that. It's not, I've, not, I've not come on to say uh, what you know what's been going on with my best friend, with my best friend in the whole wide world. I've come on to show you what I've got done on the Crusader. Well. Ta-da! That is what I've got done, gentlemen. As you can see, I've got the road wheels. I've got the road wheels and the idler. I got the road wheel. I got the road wheels, the idler, uh, the the road wheels, the idler wheels, and the strife sprockets all on the lower hull. Um, assembly was pretty straightforward. Uh, assembly was pretty much straightforward. All I did was just glued the uh, suspension arms, the suspension arms into the into the slot that they into the into the channel that they go in, and then and then I painted the lower hull. I, lo I painted the lower hull in uh, Humbrol seventy four bed linen, which is approximate to um, which is. Which is approximate to light to light stone to light stone, and then as for the road wheels, I painted them whilst I painted them on the sprue. And as you can see, I've got they're all the the, the two of the road wheels are in olive are in olive are in um, are in olive drab are in olive uh, olive green are in are in Humbro eighty six olive. And then the rest are in matte linen. And then all I did, and then before gluing them together, all I did was, is after gluing them together, I did the, I did both ba both faces of the wheels, both the front and the inner faces of the wheels on the sprue. And then I glued them together. And then I did the, the the rubber, uh, the solid rubber tire on the road wheel in uh, Humbro matte black. And as for the idler wheels, now I know 
on the in the instructions on the box it shows the i the on the instructions it shows the eyelid wheel being solid matte linen which would indicate it's a car a cast a solid cast wheel but on the box it shows the the road the outer the very outer rim of the road wheel being having a, a having a, a, a very thin rubber tire on it i did try to paint the rubber tire paint the rubber tire and not get it on the road wheel itself but unfortunately that wasn't successful so the idler wheel has got a rubber tire on it as well a solid rubber tire on it whether that's um you know whether that's historically accurate to why the particular cross whether that's accurate historically um accurate to the uh crusader that i'm um building i don't know i'll probably look into it if not i'll just you know i'll just either, even even if it isn't i'll just be pleased with it anyway because well it's my first day it's me you know it's my uh you know it's my it's my second ever only tank because obviously my first one being the chieftain which i've done um two years ago um not last year the not last year the year before so yeah that's the so yeah that's the lower hull um like i say the road wheels fitted fine the road wheels and the idle sprockets fitted fine even though one of them even though one of the drive sprocket is 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 angled slightly inwards is angled so that the inner rim of the drive sprocket is is is, is got minimal there is minimal clearance between the hull side and the, the idle sprocket but other than that it, they all fit fine it shouldn't ill fear it shouldn't cause any problems when it comes to fitting the track when it comes to fitting the tracks So yeah, that's the lower hull, and that's the lower hull, and really, that's all I've got on you. Uh, I've got for you on it. Um, like I say, that's the that's my lower. There's my lower hull. Um, yeah, and that's my lower hull. So. You're probably wondering well when you'll be so you're probably wondering when you'll get the next update on this. You probably won't get another update on me from this until I've got the tracks. I've got the tracks off until I've got the track. I've got the track on that side and the other side. And possibly to I've got the it won't be till I've got the um the upper hull done. Till I've got the upper hull the till I've got the upper hull. The upper hull done and maybe even the front the mid plate of the front hull and the plate and the mid and the and the upper back plate and the upper on the upper back the mid front the mid the mid plate on the front the mid the the, the mid the the plate that go the 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 armor plate of the lower glacis that go of the the armor plate of the lower glacis that goes in between the in between the lower plate and the lower glacis plate and the upper and the upper hull glacis so yeah um and possibly the lower the plate the the upper the upper and low the and the upper hull plate of well the upper hull plate of the the upper rear plate that is that that the um the exhaust of the uh, the radiator is in is behind if that makes sense on the crusader so yeah it won't probably till till that but till then yeah so that's my progress on my crusader on my on my crusader So yeah, that's my progress on my Crusader, and that's all I've really got for you, gents. So, so yeah, till the next update on my Crusader.
um, which I don't know when it's I don't know when it been, but it will it will be soon. I will have a second update on the Crusader for you, um, relatively within the next few days or weeks, depending on depending on what depending on where I get with the tracks and the hole and the upper hole and everything. But till then, like I say, until that video, which I don't know when it be, use your business. Paint your hands and face, glue your hands and face, don't annoy parents, be good of them, have, be good of them, have fun, st have, stay safe, be happy, have fun modelling. Until the next time, which I don't know, until the next video, which I don't know when it will be, to update two, which I don't know which one, which I don't know what it'll be. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on update two, alright? See you on update two, gentlemen. See you on update two, gentlemen. All right. Bye.